Hello, this is going to be an unedited video of me cleaning a cartridge. Whoopie doo. Uh, so obviously this is a Super Famicom cartridge, but it would be the same for any POW or NTSC American cartridge. So I have the dreaded black marker, uh, which is obviously a, a bane uh, and a thorn in people's side when cleaning cartridges. It's quite difficult to get off. Uh, 100% also this is uh, dirty very dirty uh, the label hasn't got many nicks and uh, there is one sticker uh, I've got some uh, seal peeling spray but whether or not that's going to damage the label behind I'm not too sure but uh, getting the marker off should not be an issue because I have some magic sponges uh, and I don't know if anyone's aware of these, or maybe people are, but these are melamine or melamine sponges, uh, however you say it, I don't know. Uh, but basically, they are made of melamine, which is uh, a synthetic product, man-made, and uh, it just takes off marker like it's not there, basically. And all you need is water, you don't need anything else. I actually use alcohol. Uh, I use this alcohol, which is 54% uh, 54% alcohol. So uh, I use that to clean <coughs> the marker. I use it. I just apply a little bit to the sponge, and I apply a little bit to the cotton buds when I clean the contacts. So for me, it's fine. It does everything. It's not corrosive, so it won't corrode the copper. Uh, uh, copper tracing on the PCBs so uh, I just want to show you basically so an unedited one so it's not like a load of dog crap uh, so this is the marker this is the melamine sponge with a little bit of alcohol on it so it literally won't take very long to get this off uh, the thing is you have to be careful of it the ink spreading into the little cracks uh, because then you've got to clean them after as well and that's a pain so just wipe it down as you go uh, and you can see the mark is just coming straight off onto the sponge so turn off turn the sponge around uh, spray a little bit of alcohol or water if you want uh, and then just continue with the cleaning process so It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but I mean, you'll just see it just disappear. It won't take long. Not much left now. So, just turning the sponge around again. He's in the dry side, but there's a little bit of alcohol left on the on the game itself. There's just this little bit left now. So one more time, let's get a clean, clean edge. Spray a bit of alcohol on it, and uh, away you go. So uh, this, these melamine sponges, they do take the the kind of shine. Off of the off of the cartridges, so but it takes it back to a, an acceptable grey colour. Uh, it's not like sanding down uh, where you get a a rough finish, uh, depending on the grade of sandpaper you use, of course. But this is basically complete. There, uh, there's no marker visible at all. So it's pretty cool. Melamine sponges and some alcohol is what I use to get the marker off. If somebody has used, <sighs> have I got an example here? I have somewhere, where is it? Aha, uh -huh, here. If somebody's used marker, like here, to scribble someone's name out, marker on top of marker is much more difficult to get off. In fact, uh, you can get it off, but it just takes probably 15 minutes of rubbing and it just drives you crazy. So this this is dirty still, so what I'll do is uh, I'll give it a spray of alcohol, try to avoid the label, 
uh, and then just use a cloth just to get the excess dirt off. Label's not too bad. See, I don't know if this is going to show up, but it's not the same sort of grey colour there, but it's much, much better than having pen, especially if you use that sponge all over, because this, this is like dirt that you cannot clean easily uh, without using one of these sponges. So it's always, always good to have one of these. Uh, so just give it a nice clean all over and on the back this is filthy on the back oh. so the edge there is black and then just give it a bit of a rub a few times and that will just see clean up that's a bit yellow down there as well and that's a dirty corner that's filthy there as well so it all comes off pretty easily. Uh, if all else fails uh, and the back is bad, you can always swap the back out. But the fronts, uh, you have less of a choice with because of the game labels always there. So you have to literally deal with the fronts. Uh, just gonna run a little toothbrush actually. So I can use a toothbrush for the the gaps here and the gaps here on top. So just run the toothbrush through the gaps and then just wipe the excess crap off this cloth. So looking at that it's much improved now. I'm gonna give that a spray now. The alcohol works as a disinfectant as well, so if there's any germs or anything on it or crap, grime, just gets it all off. So this looks not as good as new, but I mean, looks pretty fresh. I need to get into that crack actually. So I kind of, you can see a little watermark on the label where I've sprayed the alcohol. So you need to be a bit careful, but uh, this this will dry out a little bit, and then it won't look the uh, won't look so obvious. But uh, yeah, so that's the outside done. If you just get your game bit, so 3.8 millimeter game bit, and open this up. Open this up, just be slightly careful. Always clean inside here and inside the bottom there. Uh, put this to one side for a second. But that's important because any anything that's in here could eventually end up in your Super Famicom or your Super Nintendo and uh, gradually uh, cause games not to work uh, and cause damage as well to the system because will eventually just stop working because it's so grimy the contacts in your PlayStation, your uh, PlayStation Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. You're basically importing grime into your console, which is never a good thing. So I clip this PCB back into the little holder thingies here and I get a Q-tip or cotton bud and uh, I just spray it with a bit of alcohol. Uh, then I just rub. And you can see the end of it just turning black, so you really need to give it a nice, good rub. So, there we go. Next end. Just try to use as many 
ends as you can. Don't keep rubbing with a dirty Q-tip because you'll end up just uh, spreading dirt instead of cleaning it. So uh, don't worry about Q-tips. I'm sure you can get them from a pound shop or dollar shop or wherever. So yeah, that side's done. Turn it over. Just be careful. The only thing I really worry about half the time is the little capacitor because uh, it's just sort of. Uh, I haven't. I've never damaged the game, but it's just always uh, good just to hold it in place as best you can. I'll get a new one. Okay, here we go. And alcohol obviously it dries very quickly, so it's uh, much better to use. Uh, do, do not use water, whatever you do. Uh, so use use alcohol because it just dries very quickly. And it won't corrode the copper uh, on the PCB. Because obviously, copper can oxidize, and, and water will uh, accelerate that process. So, you don't want to be using a water based product, uh, especially if you don't uh, plan on drying it after. But alcohol sort of just evaporates almost instantly. So, you can just once you're confident that you've cleaned the inside there, the inside there, the PCB contacts, uh, you can close the game up. And now you can see the game looks much, much, much better. Ah, there's that sticker. Okay, so this could probably be a massive fail because I've never tried to take a sticker off a sticker yet. So I'm gonna use the seal spray and attempt to do that. If it doesn't work, uh, I'm pretty sure I might have a problem, but uh, if it doesn't work, that's life, and that's just the way it is. And it's very difficult to take a sticker off a sticker. So this is a seal peeling spray, so I'm gonna spray that on. It's got a bit of a, a, bit of a toxic smell, which is quite nice sometimes. So let's spray that on. Leave it there for a second. And I'm gonna try and attempt to, actually I'm gonna leave it for another 10 seconds. So, try to use my fingers at first. I could even use a toothbrush, couldn't I? So, I'm just trying to peel it away without damaging the other label behind. Nah, it didn't work. Not going, it wasn't never going to work really, to be honest. It's quite difficult. Maybe if I took my time, left it there for a while longer. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I've got down to the sticky stuff. Yeah, I probably should have left it there longer. But yeah, seal spray is, is the way to go. Uh, just because it takes away all the sticky stuff. Uh, that's what it's designed to do. So, but I think it's not too bad. Not too bad. One little tear, but. I shouldn't have pulled from the edge really because that was a stupid thing to do. I should have pulled from this corner here and it probably would have been much better to spray some of this on. And that, along with this, should get the rest of the sticky stuff off. Yeah, that's just, just glides off. So yeah, probably due to me pulling the sticker from the wrong side, I've probably caused most of the problem, but Apart from that, there's a little bit of sticker residue, but just a, a little tiny spray of that a couple of times and that will come out and that will dry. So, I mean, from what it was to what it is now, is a much improved cartridge. So, melamine sponges, uh, seal spray, alcohol, Q-tips, toothbrush. <laughs> it's a bit of a kit, but definitely worth it if you want to get your carts looking minty fresh. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.